Hey guys, today I am going to talk about myself and quitting my job. I have, I own a law firm, Lus Law Understood Simply. If you don't watch the other channel, the YouTube channel of the law firm is doing really well. We do immigration and we do patents and I own a marketing agency which has done really, really well. Um, so money is not uh, a concern. Money is definitely not something that I'm too worried about. I could retire today with the money I have currently, or at least live, or I, you know, retire and live like a worse lifestyle. But I could retire, um, and even I would say live the same lifestyle I live to pay for pay for things. Know, all the hospital bills from the baby and the mom like I, I paid uh, even the worst life or a best lifestyle that I'm currently living and still have a good 20 years of money for that I'm sitting on a pile of cash right now with nothing to do with it because I the stock market which I've been a benefactor of has just ra rampaged its way to this moon and I have, I'm very very hesitant to put my, more money on it uh, and uh, my team, so my team is very self-sufficient. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about why I'm choosing to do this. I worked really, really hard for over 10 years, 11 years to be exact. I didn't take vacations. I rarely, if ever, traveled. Um, the first time I'm traveling, honestly, for a fun activity is this Sunday or whenever this video is posted. And I will be going to Los Angeles to look at a few watches as well as to do a podcast and I think it would be it's a very big podcast uh, for watch people it's one of the largest watch podcasts and the individual is relatively well known in the watch community so many of you guys don't know this but Rolex is you know I again I'm I'm part of that community whether or not I like it or not sometimes I get really upset at that community but uh yeah so that's uh, where I am right now. And the other part, the reason that the primary reason I want to quit my job is to spend more time with my daughter. It's been pretty rough. Um, you know, we've looked for nannies and daycare and I don't trust none of that shit, man. Uh, a story just came out where like a daycare was like putting like sleeping like things and, and their kids. And, you know, that's that's really bad, obviously, for many reasons. So uh, I've decided that I will, and I have been, even with my job, the primary caretaker of my daughter who has a YouTube channel. I want to build up that YouTube channel. Right now it's at 20,600, no, 20,700 uh, subscribers. It's growing pretty well, It'll probably be at 30,000. Before this channel hits 35,000, that channel, the, the baby channel will absolutely hit 30,000. It's kind of interesting, right? Um, I will have three channels each about the same size of each other with completely different topics. Uh, they could not be more different from each other. Uh, that being said, um, I do want to let people know that I am selling my collection. And uh, it comes down to the fact that... Um, I just, uh, the Pokemon stuff is what everyone wants, but like if I had to keep something, it would be the Pokemon. Because I think my daughter will grow up and love it. And the fact that she has basically infinite amount of cards to open from very valuable sets would be great. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing, so here, here's my guess, is that Magic the Gathering is going to be very difficult to move. So I need, for, for the space sake, I need to move my Pokemon because that should be relatively easy to move. There's already a lot of people asking, but they're not, unfortunately they're not big enough buyers or they want to buy like, you know, a few hundred dollars. That's not what I'm looking for. Looking for like at least a hundred K of somebody bringing in a hundred K I'll sell everything to you at cost, including evolving skies. Right. Um, if we work on that deal, I have tons of sun and moon, tons of evolving unbroken bonds uh shining legends i got a few boxes of that maybe a few cases somewhere um i saw a few boxes just randomly on the floor the other day of shining legends and uh yeah i'm ready to sell all my pokemon in one big bit i, I think the pokemon itself is pr just without singles just a sealed just a sealed um in my home i probably have 200k and the storage there's probably another half a million 
um, and that and I, I I think this is a very very small valuation because a lot of this stuff has gone up. Um, like I have probably six hundred booster packs of or blister packs of Evolving Skies that just somewhere in storage that I don't know where. Uh, we have to open. So the storage I'm not too worried about because I already paid the money. It's neither here nor there uh, for me. Um, my opinion so what i am worried about is the things in my home so i want to sell the things in my home potentially look at having a second child uh, but to do so i need to clear out a lot of room we're gonna have to make a game room of a game room a media room or media room right now they're just stacked like if you watch my other video i'm trying to produce as many videos as i can but like i said saturday is date day um so we're gonna play you know we're gonna do what my significant other wants to do that day. So he has to do a blood test. So we're out and about, and my parents have agreed to take care of the baby for a few hours, as long as they can. And then Sunday, I'm off from the whole day. I'm in Los Angeles. And uh, after that, I will be back, but it's Halloween. I really want to do Halloween the best way possible. Uh, having decorations and so on and having you know good can like you know just to you know do it the best way possible because at the end of the day i think it is a really cool holiday now that i have a kid it's a different i look at it very differently now <laughs> very differently than like a single dude right uh and then on top of this stuff like i you know i the reason i have so many Unsealed stuff. I like opening packs. I just love opening. I just don't have the time or even patience to open packs no more because of my baby. So I, I would like someone else to enjoy it. Now, the only way I could do this. So at one point in time, I hired the manager of a big, big game store in Houston. And I hired her. I, I was like, hey, here's $5,000. Tried to sell these things. She sold exactly zero items. Um... I don't think people understand, like, you can't hire good help nowadays. Uh, I can say this for my marketing agency, too. It's been just kind of a brutal waste of money. Uh, even my art studio, I, we had to close that down because it's been a brutal... Like, you can't hire people who work hard anymore. I think everyone wants to, like, be lazy. And I get it. It's the influencer lifestyle, right? But holy shit, man. It's tough. Uh, it's tough to hire. You know, we paid $5,000. We set up the live stream. We set up the camera system. We set up everything to go to sell these things at really reasonable prices at that time. And I even did the live streams on this channel to kind of drum up traffic until she could take over. It just never happened. We'd, she did, I think, four live streams to sell a total of like zero items. It was uh, brutal. To say the worst, it was a uh, beat down, right? It was a beat down of epic proportions. Maybe, maybe I'll live stream as well to sell some stuff, but we'll see.